Hi there! In this video, we're going to show you how to use custom input masks in Elementor Forms. You can set a certain format for users to follow when filling up a form. The form will only accept data in that specific format. You can watch some examples here. To do this, we'll be using the Elementor Input Mask plugin. So, on your WordPress dashboard, navigate to Plugin, Add New Plugin. In the search bar, type Input Mask Elementor. Scroll down, you will see the plugin by addons.org. Click Install now. Activate the plugin. You can see it's already activated. Next, we create a new form. Give the form title. Add some fields to your form. Click on this one you want to apply input mask. In the field type options, Look for and choose the input mask. Edit the label. Choose the input mask type standard or custom. In the standard mask input field, you will be offered six predefined masking formats. Let's start with the standard type. Let us show you some of example. We've created a field for zip code and do the same for the phone number field. Save and have a preview. So this is how easy it is to use custom input mask in Elementor. When you click in this form field, you will see underscores for each required character to help guide their input to do this. So zip code, it's five digit format. Phone number, it's in US format. We input this, that's it. But if you enter the wrong format, it will ask you to re-enter. Then we move on to custom type section. It gives you a way to set your own format. To create the rules for custom input mask, you'll need to use a specific set of symbols that you can see here. Use 9 to indicate numerical character from 0 to 9 Use lowercase a to indicate alphabetical character from lowercase a to z or uppercase a to z Use uppercase a to indicate uppercase alphabetical a to z Use asterisk to indicate alphanumeric 0 to 9 lowercase a to z or uppercase a to z use end to indicate uppercase alphanumeric 0 to 9 or a to z now let me show you how to use these with examples choose custom type i want users to enter their four digit zip codes in this field I will simply enter four nines into this field. This will allow users to only enter four numeric values in this field. Let me add one more field for the phone number. We will enter the input mask in this Denmark format. This field will only accept this input just like this number format. Save and see.
Moving forward, we go to the adding optional characters to your input masks section. Sometimes you may want to require a specific format for a field, but also need to allow for a flexible number of characters like this example. What you need to do is place any optional characters inside square brackets. Let me show you an example. Username with 6 to 8 letters, first letter uppercase, other letters lowercase. So we enter the mask. The two last characters are optional. Duplicate this field. Save and see. Since to the last characters are optional, this input mask would accept 6, 7 or 8 characters. Next, we continue to the escaping special mask characters section. Due to the special characters input masks used to create required formats, certain letters, numbers and symbols can appear as blanks when you don't mean for them to. To avoid converting any special input mask characters into blanks on the front end, you can simply add two backslashes in front of character. Here's an example for you. Let's create an input mask for unproduct SKU. Two nice followed by four additional numbers or uppercase letters. If we enter the input mask at this, what will happen? Save and see. All of the nine characters will be converted into blanks. To fix this, we just need to add a double backslash in front of any nine that we don't want to convert to a blank. Let's save. Now, when we view this field, blanks will only appear where we intend it. Let's continue with the next section, repeating characters to require a repeating character. You can use any of the special characters in front of n, where n is a numeric value. For example, six character order number with numbers and uppercase letters. Enter the mask. Now let's see. We can only enter six characters. Let's progress to the following section. Flexible ranges of characters to allow users to enter a range of characters. You can use any of the special characters in front of N, N, where N and N represent numeric values. For example, email for a specific domain allows 1 to 51 characters. So we enter the mask. Let's save and see. We can fill in email name from 1 to 51 characters. Now, let's move to the last part, masking for multiple possible input values. Another option is to create an input mask that will accept multiple possible input values. As the example here, only accepts Lysian numbers starting with TN or KY. To do so, enter a backslash followed by the allowed values in parentheses separated by vertical slashes as in XY. X and Y should be specific numbers or letters you want users to include in their input. 
for example, license number starting in TA or KY. Let's see again. We've just covered eight sections of the video and we hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to follow us for more updates. Thank you for watching.